to another vlog. My name's Anitra. Okay, so I am mixing up concoctions, hon. Mixing them up. This right here, because I can't find, I have all these shaker bottles and somehow, some way, can't find them. I'm, I'm stuck with this one. So I'm mixing up my, um, I took this this morning. Hold on. I took my Oxy Shred this morning when I was sitting here chilling. I took this. And now I hate the lighting in here. I really need to change these change these lights to like something that's not as yellow. Let me talk here. And then this hat doesn't help. I'm mixing up my pre-workout and my creatine in here and my BCAAs and my glutamine are right here. And then I'm going to take my um, L-carnitine. It's in this, I keep it in the refrigerator, but the top is broken. So that's why this is over here, over it. But yeah, we're going to do another flip fitness vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the last one. So, um, yeah. No particular, I mean, you know, I love going to the African continent, but there's no country that has say, hey, let's, you know, make y'all citizens, let's make y'all, you know, it, that hasn't happened yet. Until that happened, then we had that conversation. But as of now, black America, you know, they built up this place. This is, you know, home no matter where you go. You are black America. I know that everywhere I go, and, and we get the respect for that. You know, we go different places as well. So, and, and, and shout out to, you know, black America. But one thing that we should not tolerate is we're not tolerating from the white supremacists. We're not tolerating this from nobody else either. Period. 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 The only time black folks have an issue with you is when they see you side with the white supremacists. Then they take an issue with you. Hell yeah! The thing is, anti-black racism. You, you don't want no... I'm, we delineating from everybody. Ourselves. There's no coalition with nobody. Talk to you guys while I drive. So, I'm on my way to the gym. But I think what I'm going to do... That pre-workout got me feeling real itchy, okay? Sheesh. It didn't do that. It is, I have, this pre-workout that I'm taking is kind of new. Um, that I'm taking, that I just started taking it within the last maybe week or two. And I ain't never felt the itchiness like this. Today I'm feeling real itchy. Mm -hmm, I don't like that. Anyway, um... Today, I think I'm going to try and do a what I eat in a day. I am intermittent fasting, so I haven't eaten anything yet. Also, I don't really like to eat anything before the gyms. So I go through phases where sometimes I'll, um, where I'm not intermittent fasting, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to have like a waffle before the gym or I'm going to have something before the gym and then, you know, I switch it up real quick. But anyway, right now I'm intermittent fasting and I'm not having anything before the gym. Um, but I think I'm gonna do it what I eat in a day today. I'm gonna try my best. Um, when I do these vlogs, when I do vlogs, period, by the end of the day, if you watch my vlogs, you'll notice like I only vlog like to a certain time of the day, like at night, I be done. Like my energy level is about done about, <laughs> about three, I'm done. I don't wanna talk. I don't wanna really like do much of nothing. I don't wanna, that's why I be like, hey, I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad like the energy level it goes from here to down to the ground so I'm gonna try my best just I'm gonna try my best but anyway I'm gonna try to do it what I eat in a day today no no I'm not gonna try I'm gonna do it what I eat in a day today um I am doing a low carb day I've been carb cycling some days some days I ain't <laughs> so today I'm doing a carb cycling day so yeah um I was gonna put this in the trunk, but you know, thievery, thievery. We're gonna put this in the locker with me. Gonna take it with me. <laughs> anyway, girl, I got all kind of stuff in this car. Child, let me okay, guys. Um, it's just very crowded in here. Very crowded. Um, Y'all can't see me. <laughs> it's crowded. What the? Ooh, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Who's here? The chocolate men are here. They're having a basketball tournament to hit the basketball court. Why are you here this early, chocolate men? I don't. I'm not gonna complain. But why are y'all here? It's the middle of the week. It's very early in the morning. And there's 
people, all the treadmills, people just walking. They, they power walking, baby. Let me, let me get out of here. Let me go do my thing. Okay, so it's late, girl. I came from the gym, I ran home, and I literally started working. I ain't broke my fast. It is 3.30. It is 3.30. I ain't. Okay, anyway, but I'm about to barely, what is that? Barely eat, okay, because I've been working. I'm going to eat my meal prep. It is ground turkey. This is the 99.1 ground turkey. I don't like buying this one anymore. I like to buy the 93.7, but I had a 99.1 in my freezer, so I'm cook I cooked it up. Um, some Brussels and some rice is about 100 grams of rice. Um, I want to say this is six ounces of ground turkey, a little bit of butter in the pan. Because, like I said, this is 99.1. I'm going to dump it all in here because I, I, listen, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I like to warm it up, but sometimes I like to, like, recook it and, like, sizzle it up like it's a stir fry. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna you know I had it on low, but I'm gonna let it get hot and then we'll be back. But y'all, y'all, why is it still my same water from earlier? Nitra, Nitra. Now you know this is the same BCAAs, but what we gonna do, because I ain't took my second dose of Oxy shred. I'm gonna put this oxy shred up in here, and I haven't had my coffee. I feel like I'm just like I need to catch up. I haven't had my coffee, so I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee, not a lot. I don't know if I should have it with that oxy shred, but I mean, we gonna have a little bit. But the only ones I have, I have this lean body cookies and cream. I'm gonna drink all of this and have a little bit of coffee with it. I've been using my Starbucks cups, but I want to use my Tabitha Brown Hello There cup. Okay. So, yeah, let me, let me see. Put y'all right here. just begun your romance, not over. I got a lot of love, love to give. Okay. Scoop of Oxy Shred in here with my BCAAs. And my glutamine. Boom. No that eyes. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what this is gonna taste like together, but we'll see. Smells good. Okay, ice. Not a lot of ice left. I'm gonna put all of it in there. Oreo, what you want, bro? You want to eat some of this sesame seed oil? I'm gonna put it a little bit in here because this don't taste like nothing. I made this like very bland on purpose. So, um, I mean the meat is seasoned, but it's not like seasoned season if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna season it up. I'm gonna put some of this sesame seed oil because. Yeah, let's put a. I'm gonna put a real a, a little bit though, cause I don't I, I don't want to be trying to count up the cost like that much. Okay. You see how it's getting like burnt? You see how like it's getting burnt? That's what I like. I like it. I like. I don't know. I like the way that tastes, especially when it comes to like Brussels sprouts. That tastes so good. Okay, so I put some of this on there. This uh, this hoisin sauce. I like teriyaki to me. I just put a little, like you can see where I put it. And then I'm gonna taste it when, when it's out. And based on what it tastes like, we'll add more. I don't want it to be like salty. Cause we don't like salty food. We want flavorful food. This don't look like nothing right now, but we don't care. We are talking about flavor flavor okay we want it to taste good 
So let that simmer for a little bit. More. Okay, so while that's doing this thing, I'm gonna make my coffee. Like I said, I put a little ice in it. The cold brew from Trader Joe's. I love this cold brew. I'm gonna fill it up just that. I'm just doing this much. This stuff is actually concentrated. I actually just drink way too much. Way too much. Anyway, remember I bought this last the last vlog. It is very tasty. I don't know why I add creamer to my protein coffee. It is a force of habit. Just a little bit. It's just a habit. I don't. I don't know. I'm not even gonna count it. That's how. Well, I could count it. Just a tablespoon. Let me, let me put in my fitness pal right now. When did my fitness pal start having commercials? Did y'all do y'all mind if fitness pal have commercials or y'all be paying y'all be paying the high price? Okay. You guys cannot see me. I am sorry about this lighting. One day we gonna get better. I don't know how soon, but one day soon. Anyway, lean body coffee. Yummy. And then if you want to take it another further. Tastes like chocolate milk. Yummy. Yeah, me. Okay. You want to take it another further. We'll put a little. Mm. Let's. This vanilla. What is this one? The vanilla caramel cream in there. Just a bit. Not a lot. I'll show you. Oh. Uh, just that much. I'll take it up a notch. It's like when Emerald say, bam. You know, does Emerald still come on TV? I haven't, heard, I haven't heard about Emerald in a long time. Speaking of, that's good. How much more is it? Okay, I drank all of the um, I just chugged that um, BC, the rest of the BCAAs, and the rest of that um. What was it? The oxy shred. I just chugged it. Now, let me get my food together. I'm putting it right back in the same container, but I'm just gonna. I just wanted to get it like for real warm. Like I stir fried it. It don't look good, y'all. I'm telling you right now, it don't look good. Let's see what it tastes like. So here it is. All warmed up. Okay, I need this fly to go. Mmm. Pretty tasty. Actually, I don't need anything else on it. I like it just like that. So, meal prep done. So, like as far as my um okay so like as far as my carb cycling goes like i just started back on it if you watch my last vlog that plant is still sitting <laughs> that plant is still sitting right there we're gonna repot it in, a, in another vlog but as far as my car carb cycling goes like i told you guys before i go back and forth with carb cycling it does work but i do notice like as far as me and my body my body type like being on a lower carb situation really does work for me like i notice a huge difference in my body when i'm lower carb or when i really track my carb intake right so as far as like keto i don't see myself ever being keto again um i do like to do like low carb but i really like to do a, a, a carb cycle situation because then i can have like higher carbs on some days <laughs> so um what i've been doing is like on the higher carb days I, i'll go like 100 to 200 grams of carbs and those are those the only days i do those when i'm really carb cycling is the only days I do the higher carb days is when I do lower body when I do legs glutes when I do anything lower body that's when I do high carb if I do a low carb and that's like 50 to 100 grams of carbs um, that's when I do anything else like if I um, do upper body or if I go and do like uh, some sprints at the gym if I do anything at the gym other than lower body I'm doing a low carb day 
the no carb days is when I do like zero to 50 grams of carbs. And I'm not talking about net, I'm just talking about carbs. Just straight, not net, not going into carb manager and do just straight carbs. We're doing 50, zero to 50, but those are, the, those are on days when I'm not doing a thing. When I don't go to the gym, when I don't, when I do, don't do any type of like exercise, then I'm doing like zero carb or no carb days. So I'm trying to get back into it. Um, once you get, once I start getting into the groove of it, it's, it's cool. Just like when I start getting back into the groove, when I got back into the groove of intermittent fasting, it was cool. But once you fall off, it's like, okay. You gotta get back on it, but yeah. So today is a, a low carb day. So um, my total meals right now, with I put everything in, is at 90 carbs. So I think the carbs come from just mainly the rice, cause what's the carb count on this rice? 78. Where did the rest of the carbs come from? This uh, this milkshake. I mean this um protein. Oh yeah, protein has nine carbs, and that's fine. That's fine. So right now we're at 90 carbs and that's all I'm gonna have for the day. One meal. And then another thing is like on my low carb days, right? If I have the carbs, I'm having them for like breakfast or lunch if I have breakfast. If I'm not intermittent fasting, I'm having them in the day and not for like lunch or dinner meals. I'm not having them for that. But yeah, so let me tell you, so I'm at 90 carbs, which that's it, that's all for the carbs, girl. And I am at 87 grams of protein, and that's from this protein shake, which is at 40, and then the rest is from the, the ground turkey. So, yeah, I got a long way to go on the protein, because I'm trying to get at least um, 108 grams of protein in. I know I'm gonna surpass that, but um, yeah. Okay, you guys. Okay, so y'all, y'all. Okay, get back in there, girl. Um, I am like engulfed in TikTok. Like, it is some, a lot of foolishness that goes on on there, just like any other though, any other social media. But it, you learn so much on there like, that you just would have never known. Um, and so there's this guy on TikTok and his name is, let me see if I can find his name, but he tells you the simplest way. And it is just like, you know how people try to figure out your macros and you just be, you, it, 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 I don't know about you, but like I get overwhelmed and consumed with, with mess real quick. And I just be like, call the whole thing off. I don't, I don't want to do this. Like, just forget it. He makes it so simple where you just like, that's all I gotta do? And there's people on there that like tagged him and they're like, if I would have known this earlier, I would have done this. And they're just dropping weight. And all they are doing is doing what he said do. So let me find his name. Cause I'm gonna tell you, cause I was just looking at his, I had to tag, I had to like bookmark one of his TikToks so I can go back and figure it out, child. Cause I was like, I'm okay. gonna put the TikTok right here. And um, his name is, what is his name on TikTok? What is his name, where's his name? His name is John Schaefer. This is his uh, page. Come on, tag it. There you go. This is his page on TikTok. You guys, okay, if you are trying to lose weight and you wanna make it real simple for yourself, Go check out his page. He is very, it's very like, this is all I had to do. We dropped 35 pounds in two months. Maybe, maybe not, but here's how you lose weight fast. And these principles apply no matter how much weight you have to lose. And if you've got more than 50 pounds to lose, you can 100% drop more than 30 pounds in two months. First, let's calculate your daily caloric limit by taking your goal body weight, not your current body weight, your goal body weight multiplied by 12. That is your daily caloric limit. Come in as far under that as possible each and every day, as long as you're hitting your daily protein minimum. Your daily protein minimum is your goal weight times 0.6. That's the minimum amount of grams per day you need to be eating in order to protect muscle from being lost along with fat, super important. If you're trying to drop weight fast, take more steps each and every day. Walking is the sneakiest form of fat loss. I cannot stress this enough. 
apply the rules of intermittent fasting to create 16 plus hour periods where you have zero incoming calories. More on this in other videos. Strength train at least twice a week to protect muscle from being lost along with fat and burn some calories in the process. Carbs aren't the enemy, but if we're talking about a timeline, make your meals fat, fiber, and protein. You'll drop fat faster. Eliminate snacks. Just include them with your meals to eliminate deprivation and track all your food with an app. Yeah, we can get you from 230 to 180. I'll take that blessing. First of all, we need to feed your future self, not your current self. So your daily caloric limit at 180 pounds is 2,160 calories, and your daily protein minimum is 108 grams of protein. As always, you can come in as far under that caloric ceiling as long as you're hitting that protein. It's super important that you eliminate the idea of deprivation from this process. I highly encourage you to include your favorite foods on a daily basis. So tonight we're going to in and out and getting the animal style double-double, along with some fries. So how do we do that? While still creating a deficit, of course. We're applying the fat loss framework that is intermittent fasting. So we're skipping breakfast in the morning, having some black coffee or tea, whichever you prefer, 20 plus ounces of water with some lemon and some sea salt, and we are fasting till lunch. Lunch is on the go today, so we're getting the steak salad from Logan's Steakhouse. 600 calories and 32 grams of protein, not a bad bet. Now, because we thought ahead and we know we're going a bit bigger on dinner tonight, we're just gonna mix two scoops of protein powder with water to get those protein numbers up, get a quick 40 grams of protein, and keep those calories low. Double, double as promised, along with the fries. And your total for the day, over on protein, calorie deficit, and you ate some good food. And if you need help along the way, I gotcha. So, you see what I mean? Like, he makes it so simple. And I didn't find his page first. There was a girl on TikTok that it was like, she was talking about this. And I guess she had lost like 10 pounds in a month. And she was just raving, ranting and raving because she had been like really struggling to lose weight like her body was just like not losing weight and she said all i did was this she said all i did was exactly what he said and the weight was dropping so i'm like i mean it's these are all things that we do you know what i mean but i just think that <laughs> I, I i'm gonna talk for myself i make things so effing complicated child i do i do i do yeah check him out like I, I i've just scrolled on his page the other night i was just scrolling i mean it doesn't change from weight to weight you know he he people will be like well what about this pound or what if i want to be this many pounds it doesn't change the calculation the calculations and the math does not change like yeah you might be eating less calories than the next person but you're like he said you're eating for your future self not for yourself right now so i never i don't know i don't know why these apps don't tell us that why why are these apps telling us not telling us that why are these people not telling us that why are they just not why are they cake keeping um so yeah so i'm, I'm talking y'all let me eat my food this is what happens i just be talking run in my mouth and don't eat so so far 87 grams of protein i have had all the carbs i need let's see something i wanted to have these these have six carbs let me see if they're still good they've been on top of my they've been on let me see if they're still good. They've been in my um, cabinet for a while. They say they're not expired until November, but we don't know. I got these off of Amazon. They are protein cookies, um, 15 grams of protein per bag. Oh, they're still good. Okay, I might have those later. Now, if you get those, Understand you ain't getting uh, uh you're getting a protein cookie, huh? <laughs> okay. Um this is not crumble, it's not Mrs. Fields, it's, it's a protein cookie. It tastes like butter though. I like I feel like I can taste the butter in these. Let me show you what it looks like, just in case. I get them off Amazon. Get it off Amazon. They have a chocolate chip version too, but I like this one better than I like the chocolate chip one. And like I said, it's 15 um, grams of protein per bag. Here are the macros if you're interested. I don't know if you can see it, but pretty much I'll read them to you. 110 calories, seven grams of fat, um, six total carbs, five sugar. Oh, that's for, well, that don't matter because, hold on, let me put it in my thing. This might be, hold on, let's put this in my, fitness pal because this says 15 grams per bag but this right here tells me 
per serving. And there's four servings in here. So hold on. I might not be having this. What's up? Y'all, I never paid attention to this. This is why you read labels and you really pay attention. You see how it says 15 grams of protein on for the entire bag. I've never put two and two together and I promise y'all I'm smart. I promise you I'm not dumb, okay? I promise you I'm not. But I never looked at it until now. So this bag has four servings, which is three cookies per, four cookies per, well, how many grams? 23 grams, let's measure it. Because you know when it says three to four, well it says four cookies, that might not be true. I have my scale here, let's, let's measure it. 23 grams is a serving. Did I just eat, what, did I eat those? I ate one cookie, so let's account for the cookie I ate. Okay. So it's four grand, four cookies as a serving. Let me get this in the fridge. So, <laughs> oh child, I cannot, I cannot. One, so, okay, all right. That That's um, disheartening. So it's not 15 grams per bag. Well, it is 15 grams of protein per bag. But, um, it's only six grams of protein. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. For four cookies, you're going to get 140 calories, which is a lot. But, granted, I don't know about, I taste butter in these cookies. Nine carbs, nine fat, six protein. Baby, and I was eating these cookies like, I mean, like it was a whole... Child. Okay, I'm just add it. I'm gonna add it for a snack later. Okay, I'm still within my carb situation, but I'm at 99 carbs now. Oh, getting over there trying to <laughs> get me. You didn't get me. Wow. Interesting. I'm gonna eat and go back to work. I'm looking crazy, I know, but I'm put all my stuff. I'll be back, y'all.
guys it's not a lot of food because i'm not very hungry but i know i have to put something in my belly other than what i ate earlier in that protein shake so this is what i'm ending the night with three three flats and some asparagus i need to eat my little three cookies maybe i'll eat these maybe i won't they still sit in the same spot child I just been balling out every season. Knowing some niggas I left in the beast. I just been 
heard the double cup. I got up on me a four inside of the leaf. Top the bears and then run it up. I got to put the new bells inside of the freeze. Back at the trap, I was dug in the beat. Dug in the birds, sending out the meat. All of my diamonds gon' bust out the meat. I'm dripping water, nigga, I will feed them. Then that bitch cabin and she think I need her. Get it one time and then I got to leave her. I'm a real street nigga. Got to keep it around. Shit like I'm a thief guys that was such a good workout that's what i mean i gotta turn my ear on because i am burning up that's what i mean like i have to get here between like four and seven because anytime af after that it's crazy so i finished my workout like 705 ish and i was sitting just in the locker room kind of like decompressing because i was dead and it's 7 15 now and the people are peopling it's a it's a bu hustle and bustle in there right now um so i had a awesome workout like that workout was so good like the first good workout that i've had in a long time and i've been in a gym rut okay um i don't know if it was because i was looking at myself and i was feeling some type of way i was like oh you looking good i don't know if that made me have like some type of motivation but listen the consistency the consistency with the, it, I ain't really been consistent in the gym. I'm be honest with you. I ain't been consistent in the gym, but the consistency with the intermittent fasting, the consistency with my meals, I can tell in my body. I haven't weighed myself. Um, I'll probably weigh myself tomorrow. I haven't weighed myself in, shoot, when's the last time I weighed myself? I want to say probably August. The last time I weighed myself, I told y'all. I think it was like August 20 something. That's probably been like three, four weeks at this point. Anyway, I probably, the next, the next, next, next fitness vlog, I will tell you guys my weight and how much I've lost. But it's probably been like three weeks at this point. I don't care. It's something. I know that I've lost. I, you guys have mentioned it in my last, not fitness vlog, but just my last vlog that you can tell. And I appreciate that because even if I can't tell on myself, it's good when other people can notice because, you know, you see yourself every day. But today when I was at the gym, I was looking at myself like, dang, I don't know if these pants just snatch me a different type of way uh, or what. But I was looking at myself and I was feeling like real good. So it made me go, it made me go even harder in there but that workout was so good um and i recorded some of it for you guys i'm gonna be honest with you sometimes you're not gonna get the best angles from me i am not a videographer i'm not a photographer i am not a professional youtuber here i just record what i can when i can so i'm sorry if it's not the best angles but you get the gist of what was done girl you get the gist so i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new here and you enjoyed it and you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel if you're returning hey y'all how y'all doing i hope all is well and with that being said go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye y'all this old man all up all up in my stuff bye y'all